Hey folks, today I'm going to be reviewing the Lamy Safari Mechanical Pencil. This was one of the pencils that was sent to me by my benefactor, and uh, I have been skeptical of the Safari for a long time because it has this un unique, I mean, I mean it's a Lamy-esque styling to it. Um, and when I say that, I mean that one of the features of most Lamy pencils is that they have a more of a modern aesthetic to them, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that per se, but I'm always concerned that that aesthetic is a big uh, factor that is influencing the price of the Lamy pencils compared to a lot of pencils that are out there. Um, but let's just go ahead and dive right into the review so that I can give you my impression impressions because I do like the Lamy Safari and I want to make sure that you have a full rundown of all the features and so um, styling you can see it's just one giant cylindrical shaft but it really starts getting interesting when you get down near the uh, lead sleeve uh, where you hold the pencil. You know, I've talked before about how I'm a low gripper and there's this ridge. So there's an inset part right here for your fingers to go. And then there's this ridge near the bottom that allows you to sort of lock the pencil in while you're writing with it. So it's kind of a an ergonomic design. And as a low gripper like I am, this this ridge down here really helps me a lot. And so I really like the grip of the Lamy Safari in that regard. In terms of styling, styling, you can also see that there is this inset of the Lamy name near the top of the pencil. It has a very interesting looking pocket clip that is very sturdy and is going to hold your Lamy Safari on whatever it is that you clip it to. Very interesting and unique styling to the eraser cap as well. You can see that mine is a little bit loose, but that's okay. And then when you take it off, it reveals the eraser. More on that in a little bit. So uh, that's a basic rundown of the features of the pencil as a whole. Let's get down to some of uh, the other aspects of it and then to the rating scale. Um, now would be a good time for us to talk about the lead sleeve because you may have missed it when I first was handling the pencil and it is indeed a retractable lead sleeve. You'll notice that it's not a drafting lead sleeve uh, in terms of its length. It is hypodermic like a drafting lead sleeve but most drafting lead sleeves are four millimeters and this is a half size two millimeter lead sleeve. I don't detect a lot of play in the lead sleeve when you're writing with it and so that's always a good feature for retractable lead sleeves. So that's a nice feature that allows the Lamy Safari to be completely completely pocket safe. Big gripe that I have with the pencil right off the bat is that the eraser sort of falls into this category of like, why do you even have an eraser at all? And so here's the eraser. This whole dock is proprietary, um, meaning that you have to buy them separately in order to have an eraser with a pencil. It does come with a lead jam clear, which is always a nice feature, but it's a tiny little eraser. There aren't any other erasers that fit in this pencil. You know, it's kind of smacks as a cash grab to me, and so that's something that kind of irritates me about the pencil, but, you know, Lamy made the decision, and, and I'm going to have to live with it. But, you know, there's just also a lot to love about the pencil, too, and I do like a lot of the features, including the retractable lead sleeve, the ergonomics of the grip, the pocket clip. There really is a lot to like in this pencil, and so I don't want to uh, act like those cons are deal breakers because they certainly are not. And so let's write down, or I'm sorry, let's run down the rating scale. Uh, writing experience, great. Um, I've been writing with the Safari uh, for a couple weeks now. This is one that I really wanted to test out in my hand, and the Safari just feels really natural in my hand, and that's really what separates a great writing experience away from a good or a not-so-good, and so writing experience, I'm giving it a great. For a quality, I'm going to go with a good plus, and I'm going with good plus because, yes, it's mostly a plastic design, pocket clip is metal, and... The big dock that I have for quality is in the eraser, okay? Just this tiny little eraser. When you erase with the eraser, it depresses down, and so we have a distinct problem with the quality for the eraser for this pencil that that might be, for some people, an ultimate deal breaker. So I don't feel confident giving the quality a great on this Lamy pencil, but I can definitely go with a good plus because it has a lot of other... Um, uh, really great strengths to it in terms of its durability and its uh, 
yeah, that basically just its ability to um, survive over time. I, I think that you can probably get away with beating this up pretty well, and it's going to do just fine. For features, I'm going to go with OK+. Plus. And I'm kind of on the fence. That's why I went with a plus rating. I don't feel confident just giving it an okay because it does have a retractable lead sleeve and it does have a pretty strong pocket clip. What really bothers me about the features on this is just, you know, there are very few pencils that have as compromising an eraser as the Lamy Safari does. I think that the UniShift Pipe Lock is a worse eraser, and so that's going to come into play when I decide where this is going to fall on my rating scale. Cost is moderate. It's 21 USD on Amazon, and it's 23 USD on jet pens, and so, you know, it's pretty affordable, but with Lamy pencils, I'm always questioning... Is this like an Apple product? How much of it are you are you paying for the actual name? But if I were to purchase this on my own, if this were not uh, bequeathed to me by my benefactor, I would still be happy with my purchase. Um, you know, in the low 20s range for a pencil of this type, um, you could make an argument that a, a Rote Ring 600 or another one of those real classic drafting pencils might be the the purchase for you. But if you're a collector, I don't really think that you can go wrong in the low 20s with the, with the Lamy Safari. Uh, the Lamy Safari is often sold at specialty bookstores, and so you may not have to go online for this. In a shocking twist for my area, Omaha, Nebraska, you can buy Lamy Safaris in a wide variety of different colors. This is in charcoal matte black. I think it comes in a wide variety of shiny colors like bright yellow and bright, bright blue and bright, huh, bright red. I got it. It's been a long day of teaching, folks. And so... Yeah, for the, for the cost, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, is it going to make the top 10? Yes, it is going to make the top 10. It's going to come in at number 10. I feel like I can make a pretty gr strong case for the Lamy Safari for this to finally bump the UniShift pipe lock off of the top 10, which has kind of been the odd guy out on the top 10 for a while. Um, don't get me wrong, the UniShift pipe lock is a really great pencil. It's going to go to the honorable mentions list. It's going to replace the Tombow Monograph Shaker, and the Tombow Monograph Shaker is a great pencil too. I think for me the limitation with the Tombow Monograph Shaker is the cheap plastic pocket clip and the general, general cheap construction of the pencil. Arguably a questionable mechanism as well on the Tombow Monograph Shaker. And so I'm going to bump the Tombow Monograph Shaker off the honorable mentions list. The Uniship Shift Pipe Lock is going to fall from the top 10 list onto the honorable mentions list, and I'm going to replace it at number 10 with the Lamy Safari. And so check out the Lamy Safari. I would say if you're a collector or are looking for something that's really comfortable to write with just for a daily, for taking notes on a daily basis, it is definitely worth checking out. And so thanks again to my benefactor for sending me another great Lamy pencil. Uh, I'm in deep smit with the Lamy 2000, which is also a great pencil. I've been really impressed with the Lamy line, the Lamy pencils that have been sent to me. And so definitely check out Lamy pencils. They are great writing instruments. Have a great day. Bye-bye.